Hello and welcome to Sunday Power BI. In this tutorial, I want to talk about paginated report. What are paginated reports? What they are used for? What are the requirements to build it? If you are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get new videos notifications. Let's start the video. Paginated reports are pixel perfect report formatted to fit well on pages and are designed to be printed or shared. Imagine you have published this report on your Power BI cloud where you have this matrix with different countries and associated details and you want to get it print in PDF or Excel. So you go to export and select PDF. Export. Save and open the PDF. What you see in the PDF is just a screenshot of your report where you can't do a scroll down on your table or matrix visual to get all the records. So if you want to get details from your table, matrix or visual, you use paginated reports because they are designed to create pixel perfect report for print or share. In order to publish or share paginated reports, you need to have premium capacity either through a dedicated capacity with Power BI Premium or a premium per user license type. To create and publish, you need to have Pro or Premium per user license. In order to create Paginated Report, you need a separate tool called Paginated Report Builder or Report Builder, which you can download from the link provided in the video description or from your Power BI service account. Click on this ellipsis at the right top of your screen, download and select Paginated Report Builder. It will get to the same link available in the video description and from this link you can download Report Builder. So pause this video, download and install Paginated Report Builder. The interface of Report Builder look are different from Power BI Desktop but we have getting a started dialog box which looks similar and here we can basically create a new report using these wizards, open a safe report or open a recently used report. So in this tutorial I will demonstrate the table or matrix wizard. So click. Now before moving on, make sure that you are signing in your Power BI report builder. For signing, click on this top right of your report builder screen. Now, the first step to create a report builder is to choose data set. So we are going to create the data set and for that we are going to click next. And here we are going to choose the data source connection. For that click new and I am going to use Power BI data sets built to get my workspace from the tenant and associated data sets. So I have all my workspace and the data set I am looking for is available in my premium workspace Paymart final report. Select test connection. Test is successful. OK. Next. Once connected, we are brought into this new interface here. Yet we are designing our query and it says rack levels or measures here to add to the queries. So now we are going to replicate the same table visual that we had created in the Power BI service for the country level performance. So the first element is continent hierarchy which I can find from my dim geography table. Expand continent hierarchy, drag and drop. Now I will drag and drop all the related majors from my majors table, tax majors. The first major I am looking for is net profit. Then net quantity, then order count, then average order amount, and finally YOY net profit. So these are the different components that I want in my report. Click next. So now we are in the dialog box which looks like Excel pivot table. And here we have to arrange all the fields we want in the rows, columns, and values. So I want the elements of continent hierarchy in the rows. So continent, drag and drop in the rows group, region, state, 
city and all the measures in the values starting with net profit net quantity order count average order amount yoy net profit click next and here we get the preview of the output if you have used multiple dimension in your ROS, then this show subtotal and grand total will be unlocked else it's going to be gray out so here we can view different output styles block subtotal below block subtotal above step subtotal above and for this tutorial i'm going to use block subtotal below next this is a final preview of our report that is going to be generated by report builder and finish so we are in the design view with the final output of our report so now we are going to apply different formatting to the rows column and the header of this report design so first thing i'm going to change is the report header country level performance report for the column headers select from the home tab fonts apply white color to the font and blue background for the majors i am selecting all majors control select one by one from the numbers group i will apply number formatting so you can play with this formatting tools to figure out how to use and format then we have the data tag where you can connect to the data again limited data sources are available here then we have the insert tab from where you can insert other visual types and some report elements so finally we are back in the home tab and from here we are going to see the preview of our report to check the preview of report click on run the report is loading and this is the final output of our report that we are going to show on our power bi service using the paginated report visual so go to file save your report now again go to design and from the home tab share group click on publish remember you can only publish to a workspace that is set up with a premium capacity and to denote workspace with the premium capacity a diamond is associated with it so here we can see premium workspace has a diamond icon so i can only publish my report in this workspace if i select team data flow provide the name to my report and publish i get this error whereas if i select the premium workspace and publish i successfully publish my report press ok now let's get back in the power bi service so we are back in our report click on edit insert new page and here we have a paginated report icon click and it says connect to our report click on this button and here we have our report available country level performance select set parameters see report we have the same output that we have observed in the report builder now if i expand this continent and export my report to pdf save open now I can see all the details available in my visual in a PDF format. I can also export this report to Excel. Export. Excel. Report has been exported. Save. Open. And now I can view all the details that were available in the paginated report visual. To wrap up this demo on paginated report and the biggest thing to really keep in mind is that these paginated reports are really designed to be printed out and shared as PDF because it does contain all the details contained within that table or visual or whatever type of paginated report you have created. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.